All right, so the main tool that you use to work with the keynotes is the keynotes palette, which I'll just open up here. And as you can see, you have a tree uh, showing you where your notes are. At the moment, I've just got the one note, um, so I will need to import some more. Um, now, importing of keynotes can be done from uh, a CSV um, or other text um, delimited files, so CSV or um, it could be some other delimiting on your text file. Whatever it is that your database system that you use currently, or Excel or whatever, uh, can export to. So um, the first thing you want to do is import some. So we'll open up the manager here and click import. Uh, there's also the option to just make new ones on the fly here if you wanted to, uh, but we're going to import. And when you install the Keynotes tool, you'll get some examples. So this is just in the ArchCAD 20 folder under Cadmus Tools Extras. We have an example Keynotes tool, uh, and it, that's using the .keynotes file format. Uh, there's also a CSV version of the example, um, which you can just change to using the file type filter here. Um, and then there's the text option as well, which I don't have one of. I'm going to import my, oops, my Keynotes file. And you can see now it pops up a, a list of all of the Keynotes that it's going to import. And it's made everything that's new uh, show in blue, which is uh, everything, because I didn't have anything there already. Um, so I'm just going to, you can go through and select the individual notes that you want to import and as you select them you can see the details here um, or you can press the import all button here and that'll bring everything through so I'm just going to do that for now so you can see it's everything has moved over from imported to project keynotes now and if I click OK <coughs> those will all show on my keynotes palette now And so now, placing any of these keynotes is simply a matter of double clicking on them and then placing them. So I can go through and choose any keynote from here. Let's start with the uh, steel stairs. Double click on that. <clears throat> and you can see that automatically my selection changes to the label tool. Uh, and it's using the Cadimage keynote label. So if I just click here, it's going to place a label using the keynote that I just double clicked on. And then I can go through and choose a different one and place that as well and that's using the other note. So it's nice and easy to place down all of the notes you want, um, one at a time if you like.